Today I have come up with a list of the top 5 best carry-on duffel bags 2022 in the market that are worth buying. So let's get started. Number 5 we were slightly surprised that the brand known for its coolers and tumblers was in the duffel bag game, but like all Yeti products, this duffel looks and feels like it was built to last. It's made of a proprietary tough skin nylon that lets the bag keep its shape and resist damage and dirt. The bottom of the bag is made of a harder shell for extra protection, though this means it can pack down teeny tiny for storage. The Crossroads interior organization features really stood out. Two dividers make three sections for separating different types of items, and there are several smaller pockets for smaller belongings like phones, wallets, and chargers. Two exterior pockets on the top provide yet more slots for your stuff, though these two pockets are pretty small. The bag has three handles for carrying, one on each end and another on top, as well as a detachable shoulder strap. The strap has a firm, flat section meant to mold to your shoulder area, but it could be a little more comfortable. Overall, it's a sturdy, durable piece with good organization, and it's a great choice for longer trips or outdoor adventures. Number 4 All our testers found the Kipling Dory duffel bag spacious, lightweight, and durable, and it was definitely comfortable to carry. The capacity of the bag is surprisingly generous, we were easily able to fit the three pairs of pants, a mix of jeans and sweats, two coats, one fleece, one jacket, five shirts, two pairs of shoes, toiletry bag, and coffee mug we tried packing into all the bags. It comes with carabiners on both sides that buckle the bag into tighter dimensions or release it for more capacity. The plastic zippers work well, and the interior lining is sleek, though we would have preferred a separate area or bag for shoes. But we definitely appreciated the exterior and interior zip pockets and sheath pockets for smaller items. The bag itself is one of the lightest we tested, add the fact that the handles felt good in the hands and the adjustable strap felt nice over the shoulder, and you have a duffel bag that stands out in carrying comfort. The Kipling Bari held up well when we threw it, fully packed, off a ladder. It protected the cargo and suffered no scratches or scuffs. Overall, it performed well on all our tests and the design to function as a weekender bag, so it earned your top spot. Number 3 Thule is best known for its car top carriers, but the brand brings its knack for sturdy cargo storage to this duffel bag as well. Our testers were all impressed with the durable, waterproof tarpaulin exterior and the spacious, pocketed interior, though an exterior pocket or two would have been nice. It even comes with a packing cube that can be used for clothing, toiletries, or a smaller pair of shoes. We also love that the bag can be held either by the handles or by the very comfortable backpack straps. It's a bit strange that there's no shoulder strap option, but we did not find ourselves missing it. The chasm nailed our durability tests and is a great option for longer trips or even weekends in the outdoors. Number 2 The Travel Pro Maxilite 4 was a top pick of mine. The Maxilite 5 is still good but not perfect. At 5.4 pounds, it's up to a half pound lighter than the older model, but it seems to be lighter because of cost-cutting measures. Still, it's very light for a rolling suitcase. The exterior toiletry pocket is a nice touch for when you go through security and need to take out your liquids. The zippers are also quite strong and don't tend to get stuck, which is a big problem with cheap suitcases. The wheels also roll nicely on both the spinner and rollerboard versions. Cheaper suitcase manufacturers will skimp on the wheels and pick ones that have too much rolling resistance. The aluminum extensions for the handle have a tendency to stick, and the Maxilite 5's main handle is only single-stitched. I also worry about the durability of that handle and the fabric slit at the bottom of the suitcase that replace the Maxilite 4's bottom side handle. Despite this, it's made better than most everything else at this price and is your best bet for a cheaper suitcase. Number 1 The Travel Pro VersaPack system consists of modules that zip into the lidded half of the main compartment. It comes with a single compartment module that's good for separating dirty laundry, and others are available separately, one that folds into thirds to keep suits and shirts wrinkle-free, what's called a suitor, and another made of several small compartments. 
It has a sealed, clear plastic pocket for toiletries that's removable if you have to go through a security screening. I like it for the peace of mind. I'm always worried about a bottle breaking and soaking all my clothes when there's not a way to separate items. I give points to Travel Pro for adding a pocket for a battery bank, with a pass-through for a cable. You can buy an anchor power bank and stuff it in there, and it'll probably work better than the ones other suitcase companies build into their bags. The Crew Versa pack is heavy at 7.9 pounds for the roll and board version, but it hasn't been struck by Travel Pro's cost cutting the way the Max Light line has been. There are lots of pockets, and the handles are nicely padded, securely attached, and, kind of tight. The aluminum handle extensions are solid, smooth, and don't get hung up. It's heavy but very tough and full featured. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you like this video. If this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to like comments, and be sure to subscribe to get more reviews. Hope to see you guys in the next video.